Hi, Todd Warren here in the Forecast Center with a look at our weather week ahead here on ArcleTexHomepage.com as well as the ArcleTexHomepage.com app. And looking at the uh, pattern, you can see uh, we do have a couple of disturbances. So one here moving across the middle of the country. This is what's helping to drag all that tropical moisture into the Arcletex here today. Have upper level high pressure to our east, another stronger one to our west. And again, once this system right here lifts off towards the east, we're going to be looking at, uh, uh, again, a possibility for some rain, perhaps through Saturday. And then that upper level ridge will try to reestablish itself across the southern half of the country. You can see uh, the main core of the westerly is moving more north. You can see the ridging here, ridging here, and that means lots of heat as well as uh, dry weather for us for the first half of next week. Until then, though, looking at, again, that chance of rain, which probably will be most widespread and highest tonight, as we'll see those showers and thunderstorms, which will probably decrease some late tonight. Tomorrow, we will see a mostly cloudy sky. A little bit of sunshine mixed in. And notice not quite the coverage tomorrow compared to what we have experienced in spots today. Going through tomorrow night, much the same, looking at a partly to mostly cloudy sky. Uh, notice a little band of rain possible there late tomorrow night. Uh, Futurecast also showing a little bit of rain possible there for uh, Friday. That activity should come to an end Friday evening, Friday night. And then Saturday, still uh, not quite strong enough as far as that upper level ridge to prevent anything uh, additional from developing. Model's been hinting at maybe a little bit of rain across the northern sections of the region. But as far as rainfall potential, look at numbers from Futurecast. And this is on top uh, basically since... Uh, about uh, uh, 7 o'clock this morning. You can see that we're looking at, uh, uh, again, this does include in parts uh, the rainfall that has already fallen. But generally speaking, another, uh, I should say, all total here, a couple of inches of rain, probably the, the chance of that happening will be highest uh, over the northwestern sections of the area where rainfall totals are already approaching uh, two inches. So again, some more rain, a possibility, especially tonight. So your forecast looks like this for Shreveport. Again, kind of scattered as far as the rain going through Thursday, Friday, and again, a very low end risk for some rain Saturday. Main thing is going to be the warm up in temperatures. As the 90s will return as soon as tomorrow, we'll see highs in the uh, mid 90s by the first half of next week and likely will stay there. And with some rather breezy conditions, nighttime lows will also be rather warm as we'll struggle to make it into the mid to upper 70s for nighttime lows in Shreveport. And Texarkana expects similar conditions as you will have again low end rainfall chances uh, here for the next couple of days. You too will see daytime highs back up into the low to mid 90s. Overnight lows uh, based basically in the middle 70s. So all in all, it looks like we've probably seen some of the heaviest rain that we're going to see. We'll have another couple of rounds possible this evening, but as we go into the nighttime hours tonight for this Thursday night, look for that rain chance to begin to diminish and the rain becomes more scattered here during the course of the next couple of days.